Welcome to www.killthatnoise.com. I'm your boy, the Cameron McMath. I got my man, Joe Son, with me. And today we have the special privilege of having two time Sun Belt Player of the Year, Mr. Sack Machine himself, Javon Roland Jones from Arkansas State. Appreciate you for joining us, man. Oh, man. Appreciate y'all for having me, man. Appreciate y'all for having me. All right, Javon, let's jump right into it. Uh, <clears throat> now, you're a group of five college football team. Like Cam said, you're a two-time Sunbelt Conference Player of the Year. How do you feel about being overvalued or maybe, I mean, undervalued or maybe even overlooked by a lot of scouts or even, maybe even experts? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I don't blame them at times, but some stuff, you know, when I see some other people, you know what I'm saying, I just be like, it's really not, just because they go to the biggest school or, or the name on the helmet, you know what I'm saying, it, it just be like, be like, man, you really, like, overlooking me for this guy? So, I mean, you know, the, the best way to do that is just, you know what I'm saying, keep my head down and just keep working, man. You know, it, it bothers me sometimes, but it, it don't make or break me. Gotcha. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, uh, you have been undervalued and stuff like that, but you found a way to make success and a name for yourself. Can you kind of tell me what it is that helped your success as a pass rusher? Like, what is it that you do that helped you carry on and be successful consistently? Uh, just go out there and play and give my all, man. You can't think too much pass rush. You got to go off of what the O-lineman give you. You can't think too much. Uh, I think I pride myself on just taking what the O-lineman give me and um, just studying my opponent, knowing who I'm going against, knowing what they week on. Okay. So and I have to ask this. So over years, Arkansas State has uh, been pretty known for coaches coming in and leaving, one in, one out. But over the past four years, three, four years, uh, they found consistency and Coach Anderson. What mm -hmm. is it about Coach Anderson being there and being consistent and showing his dedication? What, like, what has that done for the program and the young men there uh, moving forward? Uh, it gave us a sense of security, man. Um, you know, giving us a chance to open up and kind of just let him coach us and let him take over and um, us just trusting him pretty much, man. You know, I've only had one one other head coach there, and um, I didn't play that year. I was I redshirted. But he was a good dude to be around. You know, he ran the program great. But, you know, with Coach Anderson, man, he just, it, it just gave us time, man, to just kind of just open up and trust him, man, because, you know, you got to build a foundation. You know, exactly. you can't just build a foundation and leave it for two years and then come back to it and, and right. try to build something on top of it. So I think that gave us a foundation and, and gave us a chance to actually, you know, try to start moving forward. Gotcha. Now, now we know you can rush the passer, but some of your coaches have been quoted saying that you need to improve consistently against the run. What have you done to improve that part of your game? Uh, just just working on small stuff, uh, hand placement, uh, feet work, um, just excuse me, footwork, stuff like that, man. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's small things in the run game that you always can get better at. You know, working right. up field, you know, being explosive with your hips and hands. So small stuff like that, I've been working on. Okay, gotcha. So uh, we know you've been a dynamic pass rusher over the years. Your stats proved you finished uh, one sack shy of breaking the record uh, held by uh, Terrell Suggs. Uh, and, but at 6'2", 244 pounds, uh, where most people have you on the draft boards, uh, most scouts got you as a more of a 3'4 outside linebacker, and you've pretty much been defensive end most of your career. What do you think about transitioning to that position going forward from here? Uh, I just feel like they give me an opportunity to learn it and, you know what I'm saying, be patient with me. I feel like I'll blow it up, honestly. Um, if I go in and I learn the plays real quick, you know, and I adjust quick like I know I can, I think, you know, it'll be easy for me. Gotcha. Now, what are you doing physically and mentally to prepare for the combine? Like, who are you working with? Uh, I'm working with Pete Jenkins. Uh, He's helped me with some of my individual, like, uh, pass rush stuff and, and run stuff. And I'm working with uh, Tom Shaw. The ESPN Worldwide Sports Complex. And uh, just up there, just working every day. You know, this is something you can't go in overthinking about. This you really come out just like a game. You just got to go in there and do it. Gotcha. Exactly. So uh, a lot of scouts, like Joseph mentioned earlier, have kind of overlooked you, so to speak, particularly because you are in a group of five and what they consider a lesser conference at Arkansas State. Uh, but you had the opportunity to go against some guys at the Shrine game. So how was that experience for you? Uh, it, was, it was a great experience just showing that, you know, it don't matter what conference you're in, what school you go to, football is football, and I think I showed it at the Shrine game. 
Okay, now, 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 walk me through this process. Where were you when you got the call that you got invited to the combine? Like, what, what, what were you feeling at the time? How did you find out when you got that invitation to the NFL combine? Uh, I just checked my email. I was checking my email, and I was at um, actually at Tom Shaw's in the gym, and I just checked my email before I started working out. Then I seen the invite. I was like, man, it's about time, man. I thought I, I thought <laughs> yeah. I won't get an invite, honestly, because uh, I was seeing other guys getting getting invites and stuff like that. I thought I wasn't gonna get an invite, so um, I was just like, man, it's about time. You know, I just thank God, and uh, I called my mom and told her, and I called my coach and told him, and then you know, that's when they put a press release out there. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome, man. That work, I was extra motivation, huh? I, I would have missed it with all the emails in my inbox still. So I would have missed uh, no, it. I kept checking for it. I kept checking for it. you putting in work. So you mentioned you called your mom and things like that. We know you grew up in Texas playing. Uh, how has that support system and growing up in that atmosphere with Texas being, quote, unquote, the football state of the country, how has growing up in that prepared – how did that prepare you for the collegiate level? Uh, it just prepared me with, like, great competition. Um in Texas, anywhere they're gonna compete, you know, they want to compete to win. So I think the competitive nation has been in me since I've been playing little league. Uh, I've never liked to lose. I've never been okay with losing. Um, I just think that's something I pride myself on, wanting to win every time I step on the field. Now I'm gonna put myself in the shoes of a general manager, of a coach, maybe even an owner. Who is Javon Rolden Jones? What kind of player am I getting into my organization? Uh, you gonna get you gonna get a consistent player. You're going to get a playmaker for sure. Uh, I think that's something that you can say about my career uh, at Arkansas State. Every year, my numbers have gotten better every single year. Right. So uh, I think you're going to get consistency out of me and you'll get a playmaker. Gotcha. Okay. So I, I have to ask, uh, seeing that Arkansas State has been kind of overlooked uh, for years and things like that, and you have to come out and prove yourself a name. But here recently this year in the NFL, a lot of players from Arkansas State – have kind of stood out more recent uh jd mckissick with the seahawks and demario davis uh with the jets kind of leading one of the league leading in tacklers how has that motivated you coming from the same school seeing the success that they have on the next level how has that gave you motivation uh, it just gave me motivation knowing that those guys were in the same shoes as i was in um, you know, the Mario, he got an invite to the combine. Jay didn't get an invite to the combine. So, right. you know, it's kind of 50-50 deal. So uh, I think this just gave me an opportunity for them paving the way, knowing that I could play there, you know, knowing I could go to the NFL and play. Uh, I just think motivated me, you know, in any way they could. You know, I still I still talk to JD to this day. So um, he, he's a good, you know what I'm saying, motivator. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he always keep it real with me. So uh, I just think, like, it's a, it's a great – it's a great deal that they was able, you know, just to pave the way for me and show me, like, yeah, you can do that organized day, you know? Right. So has have they given you any tips? Let me ask you that. Have they given you any tips moving forward, say, this is what you should do, this is what I would do, or the, or what you can expect, things like that? Right. Uh, they basically just be telling me, you know, this is a this is a business. You know, it's cutthroat. Um, just do what you've been doing, and, and you should be fine. You know, don't slack off. Don't uh, take no days off. Don't. You know, think think it's sweet out here because it's not. So, uh, you know, that's that's a lot of things. That's that's uh, one of the things. You know, guys been telling me, you know, when I've been training with them at Tom Shaw. So, um, you know, I just been trying to take that and put that into my workouts every day. Gotcha. Now, <clears throat> being the senior, I think you're one of two seniors on the defensive line. What role did you take in in showing leadership and leaving for the younger D line going forward? Uh, I, I just think I led by example. Um, you know, I'm really not a vocal leader. You know, I can be a vocal leader at times, but I'm just one of the guys that leads by example and, you know, show you how to do it. I, I don't like to talk too much, you know, like when my pads on and out there on the field. I just like to show people. Gotcha. So I, I have to ask this, right, especially being a premier uh, pass rusher uh, and defensive player all all around in the country, not just in the Sun Belt. Um my coach told me when I was playing uh, that you practice with the best, you play with the rest, and seeing that you were one of the best, give me the one person that you look forward to going up against every practice who gave you the hardest time. Uh, on my team? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bonnet, Lenard Bonnet. He just actually won. Um, I forgot what award he won, but he, he's, a, he's a good tackle coming out of Arkansas State, man. Y'all keep it on him. 
Yes, sir. So what what is it about him that that kind of helped you prepare for these games and things like that that he did so well against you? Hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, okay. What time of day it is? He he finna he finna bring it to you. Definitely. Hey, okay. I mean that's that's the best way I can put it. He he don't care. Okay, gotcha. Now now when you're not training for the combine, when any, when you're not getting ready, what do you, what keeps you busy off the field? Uh, just chilling, man. I, I like to kick around the house, man. Play the game. Uh, you know, listen to music. You know, I like to go shopping sometimes. You know, I like to eat a lot too. So. <laughs> You know, that's those things that keep me busy for quick. Yeah. That's hey man. Listen, I, I saw I kind of went through the Instagram and I saw uh going back to the shrine game that you were able to spin with one of your teammates from Arkansas State, uh and Blake Mack at the Shrine game with you. How's that experience being able to do that with a friend and somebody that you kind of close to that's kind of moving forward this process with you? Oh, it was great. It was great, man. Blake, Blake, a good dude, man. He's a funny cat, man. So, it, it was, it was a great experience, man. Just not being down there by yourself, you know. All right, now, put let's put all the NFL stuff aside. I want to get to know you a, a little, a little personal question. Off the field, give me something that that you really want to accomplish. Mm, off the field, something I really want. I want to get my gun license. Okay. Ooh, what you <laughs> shoot? What, what what's your gun of choice? What gun? You G- give it to me. Mm, I want Desert Eagle, man. Gee. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want a little Desert Eagle. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Accomplishable. <laughs> so, as as far as your family, how has they supported you in this whole process, and what does that mean for to have that kind of support? Uh man, they they've been supporting me since little league, man. I, I've been having a great support system since little league. It means a lot, man, knowing that you know I can look up in the stands and see them up there supporting me. You know, knowing I'm not out there just playing by myself with nobody watching. So I definitely want to thank them and and you know give them that shine for you know guiding me all the way from little league up to college. Absolutely, man. Shout out to the family. All right, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go rapid fire. We're gonna shoot some questions at at you. Uh, you just answer off the top of the dome. The most controversial we the most controversial one we have: LeBron or MJ? Uh, I probably say LeBron because I I wasn't able I wasn't around to watch MJ play. Man, I was just you know what I'm saying a young buck. I didn't know what was going on. Definitely. So I gotta say LeBron. <laughs> okay. Definitely, definitely. So give it to me: PlayStation or Xbox? Oh, what you got? All the way. PlayStation all the way, baby. PlayStation. Okay. And you mentioned you, you stay home and you play the game. What game do you play? I got 2K. I got that Call of Duty. I ain't got Madden yet. I don't know why. I'm usually, I'm usually a Madden guy, man. I don't know why uh-huh. I ain't got Madden. <laughs> so, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So I remember coming to college. It was a big thing when NCAA was out for the player to play with themselves. You make it to the league. You get Madden. Are you playing with you? Absolutely, no doubt. <laughs> okay, that's, that's mandatory. Okay, okay. I, I have to know now. I yeah, have to know. Mandatory. Going into the league, you get drafted. Coaches tell you you can only bring one game on the road trip. What you got? Two K or Call of Duty? That two K. I think that two K more versatile than that Call of Duty. Man, <laughs> you can switch it up. You can go to one on one games. You can play that little league. You can do your my player. It, it's more versatile than that than that Call of Duty right now. What's your favorite game mode? Oh, I like to play that, that three on three, that black okay. top. Black top. Black top. Okay. What pos- black top. What position is your guy? Oh, he a center, baby. He gotta get in that paint. <laughs> got, gotta gotta bang around, around a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he gotta get in that paint. Okay. Nothing wrong with it. So I have to ask this. Two K your game. So I have to ask. You that's a game you have to play against other people so you can talk trash. Give me the one guy that that you go at it with in two K. In school, on the road, wherever you got. Uh, who I be going at with? Oh, my uh, my friend uh, Dejan Emery. He uh, he got the arcs up there. He a defensive end. He he coming out next year, man. I go at it with him on two K. Now who wins? That's the that's the good question. Yeah. Man, he give me. He played more than me, man. He he give me. <laughs> he give me, give me, man. But I, I sneak up and get a win every once in a while. Emory, let us get some time. You going down, brother? That's all that mean. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. all that mean. He, he, That's he definitely what they mean. <laughs> That's definitely what it means. All right. Now. So let me ask this. Go ahead. Let me ask this. Who is the greatest Mike out of the three? 
You got Jackson, Tyson, Jordan. Oh, you got him there. Yo, that's hey, that's a, that's a hard one. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Michael, Michael Jordan. Oh, Jordan out of three. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now, being that you play the defensive end, you who who's better in your opinion, Aaron Donald, JJ Watt? Uh. It's hard. I mean, going off right now, I gotta say Donald, man. Yeah, defensive player of the year. Gotta gotta yep. say it, man. Yeah, you good as your last game. So yep. I, I agree. I agree on that, hundred percent. You only good as your last game played. Now, what you got? Seafood or steak? Steak. Got to Gotta get that steak. Got to. And now, mandatory. What do you What do you having it with? Your last dish. What do you having it with? Oh, I'm gonna give me. Uh, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna give me a nice steak. Real dipped in butter. Ooh. I'm giving some, some loaded mashed potatoes with the bacon. Loaded. And, and the chives and the cheese in it. And then I'm going to give you some corn off the, corn on the cob. Okay. <laughs> contra cooking there, boy. Corn on the cob with it. I, That's I contra be, there, boy. It's got to be on the cob, though. It can't. Got to be. be. On the cob. Okay. Okay. So let me ask this. Game day. Got your headphones in. Give me your top three artists you got bumping in your earphone. Uh, I got I got Drake, I got Future, and I got Money Bag Yo. Money Bag. Okay, now <clears throat> the controversial question, question again. You can only pick one. You got Jay Z, Drake, Lil Wayne. I got, got to roll with Drake, man. He, he, he the greatest of our generation right now. Ain't nobody stood him up. I mean, only <laughs> two people, only two people that's putting up a fight with him right now is Kendrick and um. And that boy, uh, J. Cole, that boy, North Carolina, South Carolina, North Carolina. Yeah. Straight lyrics. Lyrics. <laughs> yeah, those, those are the only two that's really, I feel like that's really just giving them a fight. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Those good ones. So, Gatorade or Powerade? This, I have to know the difference, right? Thirst quenching, whatever. Give me what you got. I don't got the Gatorade. They got more flavors. They're more versatile. You know, Powerade, you, you really stuck. You stuck with the, with the fruit punch. The, the the mountain berry, <laughs> the orange, you stuck with like four. It's like four of them that you that you only you know get a hold to, and the rest of them you gotta go to Kroger's or something to get the other flavors. <laughs> Gatorade, they everywhere, baby. Wherever you wanna go, they there. Now, what's your favorite Gatorade? Hey, man, that clear one. It's a clear one. I don't know what it's called. It's clear. It's not the white one. It's not the white looking one. I think it's, it's clear like water. Clear ice. And mixed berry. Oh, yes, but they don't sell them like they don't sell them in the stores. You gotta go to Walmart and buy like the little ones. They don't sell like the, yeah. you know the regular size, but they don't sell them in the store. Clear. You go I'm to gonna Walmart. Have to check that out. I'm gonna have to check that out. Yes, I'm the clear one. It looks just it like it looks just like water. Not the G two though. It gotta be regular Gatorade. <laughs> Shouts out Gatorade on on the spot, right? Get my man a deal. Yeah, I need some. All that. I don't, I don't need a hundred million right now. <laughs> all that, because I'm sure go check it out now. I'm going to take your word for this one. So I have to ask this, and I probably know your answer to it. It's a big deal uh, in Arkansas. But Coach Anderson has been on record uh, to kind of talk about it a little bit. Arkansas State versus Arkansas Razorbacks. Next year, if it happens, ever happens, who you taking? Come on, baby. I don't even know why you asked that. I, I, hey, I, I have I gotta to. Roll, I got to roll with the home team. They believed you nobody else did. Absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> I'm I'm going with it myself. I had to ask, put it on record. It's been a conversation around Arkansas why they won't do it. So I, I had to ask. I, I mean I honestly don't know why they won't do it. Every I mean almost every state has their rivalry. Yeah. That's true. With, with Arkansas with Arkansas not being, you know, one of the biggest states, like I don't understand what's been taking so long. Uh, you know, they've been playing some better opponents. They done played almost everybody in December but, but us. All right. So, uh, I mean, you know, they need to set that up. I wish I could have played them while I was there, but, you know, that's, that's just the way things work. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Now, being that you're a 2K guy, I, I want an early prediction. Who you got in the finals and who you got as the MVP? Okay. I got mm, – well, you definitely got to go to the state on the West. They're going to lock in when it's time to lock in. Okay. They're going to lock in. Uh, On the East – Man, I just feel like LeBron gonna find his way to the finals again. Like he always figure out a way to get there. 
Right. And so part I got four. Golden, I got, huh? Part four. Yeah, yeah. I, I got Golden State winning, and I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take KD with the with the uh, Finals MVP. So, so let me ask. I had to ask now since you asked. So you telling me Golden State <laughs> gonna find a way after the way the Houston Rockets are playing right now that they gonna find a way to beat Houston? Yeah, I don't. I just don't see James Harden showing up in the playoffs, man. Ooh, that's a big statement. I just don't. I mean, I, like I haven't really just seen him just show up in the playoffs. He gonna do what he do because that's James, Harden. He James Harden with a CP three this year, <laughs> and the way the rest of the team is playing and responding to CP three, you got Golden State coming out the West. Hey, Golden State gonna air you out. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> they, they're gonna hurt you out. I'm gonna look you up when we get there. Now, oh, hey, look, <laughs> uh, uh, Western Conference Finals: Golden State versus Houston. They gonna, I'm telling you, Golden State gonna earn them out. What you got in it? Six, seven, five, sweet. Go to seven. Uh, yeah, Houston gonna give them seven. Seven, okay. Yeah, they gonna give them seven. So now, the right. if if Houston gets home field advantage, you still got Golden State. Yeah, they're gonna earn them out, baby. They're gonna earn them out. <laughs> Don't hey, matter where. Don't matter where you're going with. Curry going to make it rain. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> all right. Now, before we go, is there anybody, anything you want to give a shout out to? The floor is all yours. Uh, I want to give a shout out to everybody in Jonesboro. You know what I'm saying? Arkansas State. You know, everybody out there support me. You know, um, shout out to Omega South 5 Fraternity Incorporated. You know, my guys up there, AZ. Uh, I want to give a shout out to all my people back in Mesquite, Fort, Fort Worth, Dallas. The whole DFW Metroplex will support me, and I appreciate everything. Okay. Shout out. Give him your Instagram. What's up? Go follow my man. What's the Instagram? Oh, the Instagram is uh J Jones at J Jones fifteen. It's just a uh, J then Jones fifteen. Okay. And then the Twitter is at the real J Jones fifteen. Okay, there it is. Go follow my man. Follow my guy. Wolves up. Oh yeah. Hey, state stand up. Once again, this is www.killthatnoise.com. I'm your boy, the Cameron McMath, my man, Joe Son, and we had the pleasure of having Javon Roland Jones. See you next time. We signing out. Yes, sir.